<laughs> Welcome to the lumber yard where you get guns like these. It was a rough start to the day, but now it's much better. Got it. Finally tried to take the uh, water tank out, but water started spilling out of this oh, little hose no. here. I thought it was, ah, I thought it was empty. <laughs> it was not. And that is probably some stanky old water. Get this thing out of here. Look at how nasty this wood is. I mean, it's not even there. You can just like brush it away, literally. It's like brisket. <laughs> it's wood brisket. Mm. Good morning, adventurers. Morning. Once again, from our beautiful RV. Oh, it's getting more and more beautiful by the day. <laughs> so if you caught our last video, we ended up uh, just kind of poking and prodding behind the water tank over here. We found a little bit more water damage, as usual. And then you saw earlier in this video, we started pulling those parts away. We took out the water tank. We took out the heater and all the duct work. And then... We did a bit of an oopsie daisy. A necessary oopsie daisy. A necessary oopsie. Not we an oopsie at all. We just removed the floor. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> so that's what we got going on over here. <laughs> so we found out a lot of the um, OSB underneath was rotten. The linoleum was really nasty. So we had to rip all of that up. We got a lot more patchwork we got to do. Mm -hmm. But we have taken the day or the morning and I think we have come up with a plan for I think moving so. forward effectively, efficiently, and Quickly. Basically, getting this done as quick as possible so we can start the process of actually rebuilding, yeah. you guys. We are so close. So I know close. we keep having problem after problem, but I swear there's light at the end of this tunnel. <laughs> and we're not giving up, damn it. We've committed to this. Yeah. We're seeing this through. Although we did manage to finix... <laughs> redo. We did manage to finish the wheel well box. Woo! We were also working on this in our last video, getting very frustrated with how to get everything squared up. We had to shim the crap out of this thing to get this to all line up, you guys, but... Now we have a frame to build our refrigerator counter thingy on. Yeah, but this, believe it or not, was probably the hardest thing we've done so far. It That's hurt. what we say about everything. <laughs> everything is the hardest thing we've ever done. Basically, we just made sure that everything was as square and level as we could possibly make it, which meant all of the shimming, but boy, did this hurt our little noggins, and it's making me a little nervous for other building projects. This might have been the closest to divorce we've ever gotten building this thing, but we did it, and we survived, and we're, and we're stronger not divorced. than ever. <laughs> Yay! All right, we have managed to get a bunch of this old nasty wood out. Um, we are finally getting to this corner. Now, what I think actually happened here was this is where the water heater was, and I think that the water heater was just leaking. So that's why we ultimately decided to replace that. But it was just pooling water over here and causing all, wreaking all sorts of havoc. So we're gonna whip this into shape. I know it looks bad now, but this is gonna look pristine when we're done, you guys. <laughs> or better. Maybe better. not pristine, yeah, better. better. Definitely. <laughs> I want to feed you. Allison's trying to cut this bolt with his bolt cutters. <laughs> Eric keeps trying to do it for me, but I'm gonna show him. I don't know if I like this technique. I feel like you're gonna hurt yourself. Ah! Yes! I defeated you! Holy Lord, that was hard. So this aluminum is pretty rough. Obviously there are some spots that are completely gone. Most of it is just covered in this red I guess you'd call it rust. Theoretically, underneath this should be good aluminum that we're gonna try to get to. So we're gonna use the infamous crud cutter. The must the for must rust. The must for rust. We're just gonna try a little section here, but it says to apply to a wet surface. We just assume that means with water. And we'll just spray some on there. It's so jelly-like. We'll check back on this in like 20 minutes. Yeah. And hopefully it'll magically be beautiful. The results are in. I think the crud, crud, crud cutter worked. I'm just so excited, I couldn't say it. Okay, well, 
I thought it was working. Worked, ki oh, there we go, kind of. So we got some aluminum showing through here. Yeah. The crud is being cut. So as you guys saw earlier, we have ripped up this portion of the RV where all that damage was. We got it all nice and cleaned up, but there is another annoying little problem that we didn't think we were gonna get the chance to fix. And that is this floor right here. Probably can't tell on the camera, but there's actually a big old dip, like a whole inch or so where it dips right here. And we had no clue how we were gonna fix this, but we figure since we've already ripped up half the floor, what's a whole other quadrant of the floor, you know? So I got my handy skill saw over here. We're just gonna rip some stuff up. Let's rip it! Beautiful. That's yucky. You guys, we did it. We did it. I don't know if I'm really happy or just way terrified. Yeah. And we managed not to fall through the floor. You have to be really careful because there's only certain spots where there's actual structural steel support underneath. That's why this floor was sinking because there was this whole area here with no support. So over time, the weight just pushed this down. Um, so that is what we're going to fix. I did not think that we would ever do this because I hoped we didn't have to, but now I'm excited to get it repaired. We're in too deep now, you guys. <laughs> we are fixing this thing or we're going to die trying. Yep. <laughs> what have we here? <gasps> we Look have our best friend so Marvin, what are you doing? You want a belly rub? You, you want a belly rub? The goodest boy. Yeah, you want a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a toy? That's not a toy, Marvin. <laughs> trying to get everything squared away so that we're ready to put all the new wood in there um, but we have completely run out of wood we've used everything so <laughs> we are making a little run to Home Depot Allison's brother Adam was kind enough to let us borrow his van that he's renovating yeah because we have our new car but it's been two weeks and we still have no license plates or registration yeah so <laughs> so we're waiting on that but that should be coming momentarily but yeah we'll see you at Home Depot We've gotten pretty much all the wood we need right here mm -hmm. and a little extra stuff because we always need it. Now we're having a hard time finding the right plywood to get because the sizing here at Home Depot is not like I've seen at other places. Yeah. It's all 30 seconds. Yeah, we needed 5 eighths technically, but I think we're going to go with the 19 30 seconds because it's only one 30 second off from yeah. 5 eighths. If you guys remember, we ended up using this stuff for the entryway, which is OSB. But uh, the main reason we did that is just because OSB is what was on the floor beforehand. So we were just kind of matching what was there. And then some people were saying that it'll be stronger if we use plywood. So we're gonna go with plywood for the, the floor that we're fixing now. Change of plans, we actually ended up talking to one of the guys here who was really knowledgeable, knowledgeable about all the plywood and stuff. He actually says that the OSB is just as strong and one of the advantages of the OSB, this type of board here, is that it's going to be more likely to be straight, which seems like an advantage. It's not really any more waterproof or anything like that. So I think we are actually gonna go with the OSB. Yeah, and it's cheaper, which we like. So, yeah. and it's, yeah, it's already way straighter. I mean, this is a pretty straight board, but there is some warping and that is what we are trying to keep from happening yeah. no more warping in this thing and i'm sure y'all are going to let us know your preference in the <laughs> comments below but we're going to stick with osb for now until we yeah. learn something different good morning everybody I'm feeling really tired today. I think I worked a little too hard yesterday. Yeah, we went crazy and then we went for kind of a long walk after yeah. finishing everything to decompress. We are so tired today, but we have our coffee. This is actually our morning ritual. We pour iced coffee mm -hmm. with our little uh, paper straws. 
If you guys do iced coffee, you have to do iced coffee cubes for it. That oh yeah, we've never showed secret. our iced coffee cubes. Yeah, we got like a flexible ice mold and you just fill it with coffee and pop them in your yeah. coffee. So that way when it melts, you just get more coffee. Yeah, because it's always so hot out here. So the more it melts, the more coffee you get, mm -hmm. the more energy you get. It's genius. It's great. Although, speaking of heat, as y'all know, it has been crazy all summer. Just insane heat waves. Mm -hmm. It is no longer like that at least not this week it's yeah. been in the 70s you guys and at night it's, it's been getting in the 60s oh my complete god complete game changer when you're working on that rv we worked so much later last night because we weren't just like profusely sweating all day and just mm. exhausted it was awesome all right we're gonna finish our coffee and then head back in the rv and we are gonna get that floor in today oh, you guys we're, we're gonna do floor. it So in our last video, or yesterday, we pulled up this floor, revealing a lot, a lot of rust, a lot of damage to wood, a lot of rot. So today, this morning, we spent most of the morning pulling out all the nails and screws in here. So next up, we are going to brush down all of the aluminum, try to get up a lot of this nasty red stuff, see how much we can salvage. Once we're done with that, we'll slide some fresh aluminum in like we did in the doorway to cover up the holes and keep it stronger for the future. Then we're gonna spray some Rust-Oleum on all the old rusty spots. We will put in brand new wood, put a lot more support in this area. We'll put the floor plan, we'll, we'll put the floor plan, <laughs> we'll put the floor panels back on here and it should be beautiful, no more dips, no more corrosion, at least to the naked eye. And it's gonna smell a lot better because it smells real nasty and weird in here, y'all. But first, it's steel wool time, baby. We've decided that a lot of this rusty crap over here is unsalvageable. So right mm -hmm. where you see this beautiful line here, we are going to cut this piece out and we're gonna put new fresh aluminum down here. Oh, it's gonna be nice. You'd think I'd be really intimidated by this project, but I'm not, because it's really not anything harder than what we've already done on the vehicle. So we're just kinda doing the same formula we did over there and just getting it done as quick as we can, which is not very quick, unfortunately. Check this out. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello, driveway. Yeah, this was actually a patch that the previous owners put on some hole here. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy to get up at least. Yeah. Now we gotta replace it. <laughs> How's it coming down there? Oh, hey, you know, just getting screwed by some screws. <laughs> Another fun day on the RV. Well, good luck. Woo! Thanks. down one of the last pieces of the new aluminum we're just kind of making this up as we go you guys because some of this aluminum we want to keep but some of it's so rusted out so we just kind of cut out the bad spots and then we're just patching it together using some adhesive and we're just gonna seal it the best that we can afterwards and uh yeah I don't know hopefully it works hopefully it holds up hopefully it isn't rattling like crazy when we go down the road after we button everything up I got the adhesive down now I just slide it in like so I guess <laughs> Kind of looks like something, right? Yeah, it looks pretty. <laughs> it's the best we can do, you guys. I don't know. Yeah, welcome to my gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it reminds me of a barbell. <laughs> welcome to the lumber yard. We get guns like these off pieces of wood like this. That's right your there. slogan. Guns like these from pieces of wood like this. <laughs> you guys, today is the day. We are finally actually finishing the floor. I don't believe it. <laughs> I <laughs> we, don't believe it. We finally, you saw it yesterday, we got the floor all prepped. We got all the new aluminum down there. Now the time has come. We have all this fresh wood back there. We are going to cut it down to size, put it all into place, and we're not gonna have any problems at all today. It's gonna go so smooth. Is this day five of this project? Shh, I don't even know what's program, happening anymore. This project has dragged on, you guys. Oh. And I'm so sore. Like we were saying how all the little muscles in our like, fingers are more yeah. sore than anything, like my thumb. Seemingly, all we have left to do is put a lot of wood in, yeah. right? That right. can't be that hard. Time to right? get cutting. <laughs>
So here's our plan to bring order to this chaos. Over on the left side, there was just a two by two, which was kind of hanging over the edge and not actually touching the steel frame and couldn't really support much weight. Instead, we're gonna put a two by six over there so that it actually touches the steel and rests on that and gives us a lot of support. Then we cut all these pieces to fill in all the spots of rotten wood that we had to cut out. Then we'll put in all of these support pieces to mend the areas that we had to cut. Finally, we're gonna put in a few two by fours in order to support this wide area where it was bowing before. And of course, we have a bunch of shims because everything is so uneven that we're, this is our attempt to get everything nice and level. Now we just have to screw all this stuff in. Nailed it. Well, you screwed it. Screwed it. All right, you guys, it's the moment of truth. Oh. We cut the first piece Will of OSB. It it? Oops. So the tricky spot are these two holes. So I did a stencil out of cardboard and tried to line these up and then just cut them out there. Whoa, oh. I'm falling. Can you see Aha! It? Perfect. Are you going? Yes. Ah! Yes. Ah! <laughs> I don't oh think my we've God. ever seen anything so beautiful. This is actually really nice. <gasps> oh this my is... gosh, it's a floor. It's so much more sturdy than I thought it was gonna be for some reason. You know what this calls for? A beer. Beer! We actually yes. already started drinking. We started because we were very frustrated. Yeah, premature celebration. It's turned from frustration beer into celebration yeah. beer. We're pretty much at the home stretch. We were gonna finish today, but I have to edit this video. I know our videos are, we haven't posted in a whole week, you guys, which we never do, but it's because of this project. So I literally have to take this footage and go edit it right now. It's going on to its sixth day. It's yeah. definitely been the longest project. Maybe not necessarily the hardest one, but there's just there was so much prep to yeah. do for this. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to film the last final clips of us putting these two pieces in, and then we're going to post this video. Yeah. So we'll see you there. Good morning, adventurers, once Good again. So this morning, we got up bright and early. We went to Home Depot, got the last panel. That means this floor is done. It's done. Yes, oh, it is done. We should have made mimosas instead oh, yeah. of coffee. Well, it is early right now. It's 8.30. Yeah. But I think we're going to wrap this up because I'm literally going to go edit this video, or at least finish this video, and post it about two hours from now. Yeah, so. what is it, 8.30? <laughs> yeah. You'll, I guess you'll see when it's out. <laughs> yeah, so if you're watching this today, this was filmed today. Today. Goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. Hopefully not so long next time though.